Some people were rude to him. The desert Arabs were rude to him. And he never returned their rudeness with rudeness. He smiled in their faces. He returned their bad manners with good character. And this is what he taught us to do with people. And we have to, it's mujahada, we have to struggle. The, 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 the sabr is in ula. Patience, when, when the, the woman who was in the graveyard, and, and, and she was mourning over and the Messenger of Allah passed by her and he, and he said that uh, this is a musibah and you should be patient. And she said, you didn't have the tribulation that I had. That's how she answered him. And he just left her. Now look at the character there. He didn't say, don't you know who I am? I'm the Messenger of Allah. You can't talk to me like that. He didn't say that. He saw she was mus she, musab. She was in tribulation. He left her to be in her tribulation. He gave her nasiha and she didn't accept it, but he recognized her psychological state. She was in a state that it was not useful or beneficial to continue with her and so he left her. I, this is wisdom, this is hikmah. And then he went to his house and somebody came by and he, and, and he said, don't you know who that was? That was the messenger of Allah. Suddenly remorse entered her heart. Astaghfirullah. And she went to his house and knocked on the door. Ya Rasulullah, I didn't know it was you. And the Messenger of Allah said, patience is in the first calamity, when the first thing hits. That's when, in other words, it, when the calamity hits, patience that Allah wants is at that point. That's the point Allah does not want you to lose control. That's the point to take, it's not when it's all over you say, oh please forgive me, I didn't mean to punch you after you said that to me, you know, I'm sorry. No, it's to, to stop. Patience is one of the only deeds, if not the only deed in Islam that is multiplied without measure. A single good deed in Islam could be multiplied up to 10 times. Something like giving charity, for example, as mentioned in the Quran, is being multiplied up to 700 times. But having patience is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that He will reward it without measure. Meaning that the, that the reward is with Him. It could be unlimited, unlimited amounts of reward for something subhanAllah as patience. Something that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Himself knows how much it took from us, how much we struggled to have this type of patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the Qur'an, surely the patient will be paid the reward in full without reckoning. This is another reward of patience. Is that someone who has a lot of patience in this life, subhanAllah, they could actually be um, of those who are not even questioned on Yawm Al-Qiyamah without reckoning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an when he's speaking about patience, that patience is a quality of the leaders and the prophets. It is the patience of the Anbiya who struggled. It is a patient not just of the Prophets, but also all of those who saw Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, pleasure and they had to struggle.
patience is actually a quality of strength. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He describes patience as being something beautiful. Something that doesn't require any talking, it doesn't require anything to come out of our lips. Something that is actually an action of the heart and the controlling of the limbs. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it as being beautiful. And He commands us, He says, فَاصْبِرْ صَبْرًا جَمِيلًا to have a strong patience. He tells, he commands us to this. Ask the angels, have you taken the worshiper's son? And the angels say, yes, we did. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, asks the angels one more time, did you take the apple of his eyes? Meaning the apple of the father's eyes or the apple of the mother's eyes. And the angels, they say, yes, we did. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks the angels, and what was, what was his response? And the angels respond, they praised you. And they said, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. To Allah we belong and to him we return. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then commands the angels and He says, build for Him a house in paradise. Build for them a house in paradise and call it the house of alhamd, the house of praise. Because during this time of heavy trial, they were able to have patience and they actually praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is subhanAllah something very difficult and yet the reward is so great. The Prophet Muhammad SAW also said, how wonderful is the affair of the believer. That if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were to try him in something and he's patient with it, he has the reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in al-akhirah. And if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were to give him khayr or something good, he is thankful for it in this life. Everything is written with him. Whether a good were to befall us or a bad were to befall us, he let us know that this is something that is written with him. And he says, this is so that those who have a tragedy, they do not despair over their tragedy. And those that have been given some great blessing, that they are not too much overjoyed by it in the sense that it would take them away from the remembrance of Allah. And that instead they're thankful they know that this is something that was written with him. So this is again a blessing from times of trial, is that when we have patience, we know that there's something good waiting for us at the end. When you feel all alone in this world, and there's nobody to count your tears, just remember no matter where you are, Allah knows, Allah knows. Carrying a monster load And you wonder how far you can go With every step on that road that you take Allah knows Allah knows No matter what inside or out There's one thing of which there's no doubt Allah knows Allah knows special someone feel your whole life has barely begun you can walk on the moon shout it to everyone Allah knows Allah knows when you gaze with love in your eyes catch a glimpse of paradise and you see your child take the first breath of life Allah knows
And whatever lies in the heavens and the earth Every star in this whole universe Allah knows Allah knows Cause no matter what inside or out There's one thing of which there's no doubt Allah knows Allah knows Star in this whole universe, all I know.